Welcome back to the channel and today a quick review for this. This is Ship of Destiny. This is the third book in the Live Ship Traders by Robin Hobb and it is the sixth book in the Realm of the Eldlings. And as you can tell, it is a bit of a beefy boy. This book comes in at around 900 pages or about 300,000 words. And the normal Robin Hobb uh, warning for pacing is there as well. Um, this is a book that is um, slow to get going as a lot of Robin Hobb books are. It takes about 300 pages until we get, kind of get into the meat and potatoes um, of, the, of the story of the plotting. Um, but obviously the characters are fantastically realized so that will keep you engaged probably longer than it may um, in some other author's books so that warning is there it is uh, a commitment but it is definitely worth uh, reading um, as far as the themes it is the same themes that we have seen so far in the live ship traders um, we have a lot of um, stuff in there about exploitation forced labor slavery um, and whereas we were really looking at um, what forms they can take in the previous books in the series. In this book, we've really come to the point where we're looking at the damage that those things can have on a person's psyche and also the impact it can have in the communities in which they live. Um, when themes are done this well, I think they can really add something to the book. If you can realise them as well as Robin Hobb does, um, she has a way to make suffering very person uh, personally relatable um, and I find that that really does add something to her books. Um, so I am glad that those themes are in there and they are well realised. It is also a book that delivers two very complete character arcs uh, through Malta and Kennet. Um, I won't spoil any of the kind of twists or kind of how their arcs are resolved, but um, nevertheless, they are very well um, well formed arcs in this book. And the action does come eventually. The action um, there isn't a book lacking in action. Uh, it does come later on in the book. But I do feel like it is a fitting end to this series. And I would say that this is this is the best book in the realm of the Oldlands so far. It's only six books in, but so far this is the best of the lot. I'd actually give Ship of Destiny a 4.7 out of 5.